Let's go next to Elias from Texas. Welcome. Hola, David. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy muy bien, gracias. <laughs> okay, so um, there was a story of, of Mexico City being gentrified by Americans. How can we combat gentrification in general? And specifically also like America is moving to Mexico because it's cheaper. So I wouldn't be able to say how Mexico can prevent gentrification. Yeah, yeah I bet. I right. mean, in the United States, gentrification often happens because there's a circle of mm -hmm. housing becoming more expensive and neighborhoods right. becoming in demand as places where wealthier people want to live to get to their higher paid jobs, pushes right. rents and real estate up. It then forces people, uh, certain people to move out. Then the businesses mm -hmm. end up getting replaced to cater more to the wealthier people that come in. So, you know, I, I right. think you kind of get the picture. So there's a bunch of different yeah. ways to do it. Some people say that rent controls are the way to do it. Others say zoning. Uh, I, I think it's really a question that is for an urban planner more than it is right. for me. I mean, I think we intuitively understand the problem, but the mechanics of what has to come first are I'm not sure. Right. Yeah, I think it also like contributes a lot to homelessness. Yes. Because if like everywhere. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I didn't. No, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, um, I think it contributes a lot to homelessness and homelessness as well. And a lot of like cultures and people being erased. So I think we really we really need to um, try to prevent it. What would you do to prevent it? Um. I'm not sure. I'm not a. I'm not a. Um, one of those people who work in housing. Right. Um, I haven't even finished university, but I see it's a problem because it's happening in my neighborhood. Fair. So fair. Um, in Fort Worth. All right. Anything else you have for thank me? You. No. Thank you so much, David. All right. Thank you so much for the call.